In a world that places a premium on social connections and constant communication, being alone is often viewed as a negative experience. However, spending time alone can actually be a source of joy and fulfillment for many people. Whether it's taking a solitary walk in nature, enjoying a meal alone, or simply reading a book in a quiet space, being alone can provide a much needed respite from the noise and chaos of modern life. As Henry David Thoreau famously wrote in Walden, I never found the companion that was so companionable as solitude. Many great thinkers, writers, and artists have extolled the virtues of solitude throughout history. In a room of one's own, Virginia Woolf writes, lock up your libraries if you like, but there is no gate, no lock, no bolt that you can set upon the freedom of my mind. Similarly, the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche wrote, in solitude, the mind gains strength and learns to lean upon itself. Being alone allows us to tap into our innermost thoughts, feelings, and desires. We can listen to ourselves without interruption or distraction, and gain a deeper understanding of who we are and what we want out of life. In today's hyperconnected world, being alone can feel like a radical act of self-care. It's an opportunity to unplug, turn off our devices, and be present in the moment. Some people may be hesitant to spend time alone because they fear it will make them lonely or isolated. However, loneliness and solitude are not the same things. Loneliness is a feeling of disconnection or alienation, while solitude is a state of being alone without feeling lonely. As psychologist Carl Jung once said, loneliness does not come from having no people around you, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to you. Choosing to spend time alone can benefit us in many ways. It can help us develop a stronger sense of self-awareness, build resilience, and deepen our relationships with others. When we feel comfortable and confident in our own skin, we are more likely to attract positive and healthy relationships into our lives. As the poet Reiner Maria Rilke once wrote, the most important relationship in your life is the relationship you have with yourself. Because no matter what happens, you will always be with yourself. Of course, being alone isn't for everyone. Some people thrive in social situations and feel energized by being around others. However, even extroverted people can benefit from spending time alone from time to time. It's a chance to recharge and regroup, and to come back to social situations feeling refreshed and renewed. In conclusion, choosing to spend time alone can be a powerful and transformative experience. It allows us to tap into our innermost thoughts, feelings, and desires, and can help us build a stronger sense of self-awareness and resilience. As Virginia Woolf wrote, the only way to write is to write alone. Whether we are writers, artists, or simply people seeking greater fulfillment in life, being alone can be a valuable and life-affirming experience. What do you think? Would you benefit from more time in solitude? Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Turn on the bell notifications to get daily insights and wisdom to make you a smarter, wiser and a more capable human every day. See you in the next video.